What is quantum biology? We're finally at the point in science where we have the tools to explore life on a different level. When we're talking about Newtonian physics and classical biology, we're talking about a model that's dependent on mechanical and chemical interactions. That's something that we learned in school. We learned about that lock and key receptor where we have a receptor and a bunch of keys floating around, bumping into each other, and eventually the right key will enter into the right lock and find its match. What we now know is that our cells, and we have trillions of cells, our cells are completing over 100,000 tasks each second. That's absolutely impossible in that classic Newtonian model. Now, it doesn't mean that that doesn't happen. It means that we are starting to uncover a different layer of biology, a quantum biological layer that actually is giving rise to these chemical and mechanical reactions in the body. What we are seeing now is that we are able to finally measure and observe things at a nanoscale so that we are able to see what's happening on a very fine scale of electrons, protons, excitons, photons of light, phonons of sound. And what we are seeing is so much of our biology is liquid crystalline in nature, meaning that the molecules within that tissue, within that cell membrane, within that organ, within fascia, it is aligning together as a collective. And liquid crystal technology is something that is not new to us. This is how we are looking through all of these screens in front of us, our computer screen, our smartphone screen. What they are utilizing is the same liquid crystalline technology where all of those molecules are aligned in a certain order and when the light polarizes and hits them they shift as a collective creating these beautiful images that we see on our screen the same thing is happening within our biology we know that our fascia we know that our structured water that lines our cell membranes inside and outside our vessels we know that our mitochondria we know that our dna are all liquid crystalline in nature, meaning that they have the ability to respond to electromagnetic frequency information, to frequency resonant information throughout the body. They're able to respond collectively as a unit. That's what we're seeing with all of those different structures that I just mentioned, DNA, mitochondria, our fascia, our cell membranes. It's starting to paint a picture of this quantum biological state of action that is at a nanoscale within our body. And those actions are propagating what we learned in school, that chemical, mechanical model. I can't wait to share more with you. Leave your questions down below.